School. I'm Luke and I'm Fallon and these are your weekly announcements for the week of May 2nd 2022 from Miss Frankel any current FBLA member interested in running for an officer position for the next school year should submit the interest form that is in the FBLA classroom also there will be an FBLA meeting on Friday during advisory there will be pizza and drinks from Miss Bonifield petitions for the 2022 2023 student government will be available from Miss Bonifield starting Monday May 2nd Petitions are due by Wednesday, May 11th. See Ms. Bonifield if you have any questions. From Ms. Getting, buy your yearbook. Last day to order is June 1st. We have 60 books left. From Mr. Harlow, the HHS math team won the Sigma Award for the top overall school in the large school division on Thursday, April 21st at the SEMO Math Field Day Contest in Cape Girardeau. In the team events, Heron's Algebra 1 team, Geometry team, and Medley teams took first place, while the Trigonometry team took second and the Algebra 2 team took third. Individually in the great events, Vince Champion placed first and Joshua Jones second in the ninth grade world problems. John Braid placed first and Nevaeh Thetford placed second in 10th grade geometry. Coleman Bailey placed second in non-routine problem solving level 1 and Ella Reynolds placed third in non-routine problem solving level 2. Cameron Champion placed first in 11th grade exponents and logarithms, and Alyssa Stallman and Nevea Tetford took first and second places in 12th grade matrices and determinants. Evan Wiggs placed third in 10th grade algebra 1, and Cameron Champion placed first in 11th grade word problems. Reagan Deaton placed second in 12th grade analytic geometry, while Joshua Jones and Vince Champion took first and second places in 9th grade number bases. And in 12th grade calculus, Alyssa Stallman earned first place. Individually, in the open events, Madison Labatt placed second in computational mathematics and Madison Varner placed third in algebra. Madison Labatt also took second place in number theory. John Braid and Coleman Bailey were first and second place in geometry, while Patience Dorner earned first and Maddie Gerald's third in elementary data analysis. In the Sets and Logic event, Patience Dorner again won first and Maddie Gerald's earned second. Logan Nitsche won first in the Probability event, while John Braid and Alyssa Stallman took second and third each in Mental Arithmetic. Cameron Champion earned second place in Trigonometry and Fox Connor won first in Handheld calcul Calculators. In the Mathletics event, Heron's team of Logan Nitsche, Fox Connor, Madison Labatt, and Vince Champion earned the highest score of all schools at the contest and took home the first place plaque. Congratulations to the math team. This week in sports, the baseball and softball teams head to Massac today and the girls soccer team takes on Mount Vernon and Carterville. On Wednesday, girls track head to their conference in Nashville and the boys track team are in Benton. Baseball and tennis are at home and the girls soccer team heads to Centralia. On Thursday, boys baseball travels to West Frankfurt and Friday they take on Johnson City at round one. The softball team heads to Marion on Friday. The flag team will be holding tryouts soon. Flyers have been posted throughout the school with the information you need to know. All ladies currently in 8th grade through 11th grade are invited to audition. Come learn the skills needed during our workshop on Monday, May 9th through Wednesday, May 11th. 
Formal tryouts will be held Friday, May 13th. No experience required. We'll teach you everything. Attention all seniors, we need your pictures for the senior video. Send pictures of you and your senior friends from the last four years to hhsmediacom at gmail.com. You should send individual emails with the year in the subject line, freshman year, sophomore year, etc. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Frankel ASAP. These have been your announcements for May 2nd, 2022. Stay, Stay fly, fly here and high. high. That was the last time we said that. Oh. <laughs>